Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have from the Build Diver series is the high grade Gira Giraga. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so if I butchered it, sorry. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Gira Giraga. So let's go with that. Uh, but anyways, take a look at this model. It's pretty much a remold of the original, uh, which was from Gundam Age. This is a pretty good suit. Uh, it has minor, minor flaws, um, which I would just say kind of goes into like the hip articulation um, and kind of like the loose, um, kind of like the loose parts on it. There's quite a few loose parts, uh, but I'm not gonna say it's like a huge um, disadvantage. It's just kind of like one, one of the things you should probably look out for. Um, but even though it's based off of a, a really, really old mold, I think it's, well, I'm not gonna say really, really old, but it's an old mold, uh, think back in 2012 if I'm not mistaken it actually it, it still holds up very well um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the front cover art the front cover art looks amazing uh, very menacing I like the extended tail that it actually does have um, the blue looks really good so definitely a counter to the red um, and I, I'm definitely gonna be intrigued on seeing these little effect parts uh, these kind of like mini wings um, so there's a lot of things on here I'm very intrigued to go ahead and take a look at Retails for 1800 yen, roughly around $18. And this kit came out in 2018. And is number seven in the high grade build divers line. So taking a look at the side, uh, basically just getting some of these action poses. So you see it has beam Vulcans uh, pretty much right underneath its hands. It does have a uh, Gira tail. Uh, basically the tail can be you know taken off of uh, the backside and just be you know pretty much used as the whip. Um, I'm really, I really, I think it's cool, but it's probably not gonna be what I'm gonna pose mine in. Um, then looking here on the side, it does have a beam buster, so uh, basically emanates uh, beam blast in the center of its chest. Um, then over here, you can see it does have a nice little spear. Uh, more likely that green is going to be stickers, just like the original one, so um, you're more likely going to have to have paint uh, in order to paint those. And I'm definitely going to see um, say that these like blue, you know, kind of like little details right here, there's all this uh, light blue. That's definitely going to be stickers, so we'll definitely uh, take a look. And uh, the spear can actually be taken apart, and you can separate and put it in each uh, hand if you really want to. And then right here on the side, you can always see that um, a lot of the weapons and everything or, or different like attachments uh, can be interchanged with all the different build uh, build divers line kits. And then over here, you just get a little bit of a description and uh, rear and front shot of the kit. Okay, so taking a look at the runners, uh, this is going to be uh, one of the old runners, basically from the uh, the old Giraga uh, kit. So it's, it, I mean, it still looks good. Um, there's gonna be a lot of different nub placements that I'm just not very uh, happy about. So like, you know, the sides right over here, I'm not really too excited about. Um, but it's not really too hard to denub and clean it up. You know, just make sure you have the right sanding paper. Um, other than that, uh, blue looks good. Just I, if, if, if I really had the time, I would probably just just repaint this entire kit uh, with like a metallic blue. Um, but right now, I just I'm kind of backlogged with a lot of things, so I'll, I'll straight build this, and then maybe in the future, uh, go ahead, clean it up, and then uh, maybe paint it. But that'd be a uh, a future thing. All right, next is gonna be runner B, which is going to be uh, pretty much a black runner. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of the inner frame parts. So you got parts for like the hip, you got the uh, the outside of the hands. Uh, I'm not really sure how much of this is actually gonna be used. You also have the spear up here, um, some parts for the legs. So um, pretty much all black, looks pretty good. Uh, nothing really too crazy over here. Uh, but one thing I will tell you uh, beforehand is that the leg articulation is not gonna be that great because they're just gonna be on little ball joints uh, instead of kind of like the little peg. Um, like the little peg mechanism it usually has uh, for more modern modern kits. So this basically like a little peg system is just, I don't know, I, I think it's pretty outdated and I kind of wish they would at least update it this runner uh, with some new parts. But hey, kind of is what it is, gotta reuse. All right, next is gonna be runner C, which is gonna be the same color blue. Um, basically gonna be the like legs, uh, this might be the arms, or this might be more the legs actually. Uh, and this is gonna be the back and the chest. Um, I think this is the waist right here. So uh, basically the same runner uh, from the old high grade kit, but hey, still looks nice, uh, shouldn't have any issues. And next is gonna be runner E, which is gonna be once again a old reuse part. Um, this is just all the little yellow vents all over. I'm pretty sure they didn't re recolor this. It looks like it's um, the same exact color. No, actually it's a little bit darker. Uh, so, it, I mean, it looks okay. Um, but, you know, it's just more vents. 
All right, and finally we're moving on to some brand new runners. So you're gonna have G1 and G2, uh, which pretty much overlaps right here. Uh, all this is is gonna be parts for like, it looks like parts for the chest, parts for the legs, uh, might be parts for the forearm. I thought, I thought that forearm might be over here somewhere, but uh, definitely gonna be parts for like the, uh, the backpack right there. I think that might be the front leg, uh, kind of like the knee, uh, the knee armor. But other than that, it's just some more, uh, it's actually a darker blue than the uh, the normal blue plastic. So kind of a little bit of color separation right there. And next you're gonna get two runners of runner H, which are gonna be brand new parts as well. Uh, so basically just, these are just clear blue parts, nothing really too special, uh, but it looks pretty good. So you get, these are gonna be the ones for the wings. Uh, these are probably gonna be the ones for the, uh, the legs. And then this is gonna be the tail. Uh, this might be the chest. And then this is probably gonna be the arm. So that's kind of like my speculation. Uh, but overall it looks pretty good. Uh, just some clear blue parts. And next you're gonna have two runner eyes. Uh, so some of these are gonna be just duplicates. I'm pretty sure that uh, th this is just the uh, the head like antenna. Uh, I think you only get one of these, uh, but you're also gonna have two hands. Um, these are these are new by the way. Uh, this is gonna be the backpack, and then uh, this is gonna be all the little tail bits. So making sure that you're gonna have a very, very long tail as a weapon. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I kind of wish the no placement was better because it's like directly on top of the uh, the mold, so it would have been better if it was like in the back over here and in the front right there. Um, but hey, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, but not really too favored of uh, these nub placements. And the last uh, bit of runners that are the main runners are going to be uh, J. So I'm pretty sure these. Looking at the pictures, I think these are for the forearms. This kind of looks like it's the forearm part right here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, I mean, it looks like it's a beam saber, but I, that's kind of weird because it doesn't come with any beam saber parts, so I'm not really too sure where this actually goes. Unless this is like uh, maybe the, the end of the, of the tail or something, or the beginning of the tail. So I'm kind of curious to see exactly where this part goes to, but um, you know, just a couple of black pieces. And you get a basic polycap sheet. You're gonna get a long wire for that tail, so that way it can go ahead and keep its shape and kind of, I guess, hold up all those little bits. And then you're gonna have a little sticker sheet, so obviously uh, this screen is gonna be for the eyes, these are gonna be for the spears. I think this yellow right here is for the chest somewhere. Uh, all this is gonna be for the chest, and then this is going to be for the centerpiece and the chest as well. Uh, but, I mean, a lot of this is easily paintable, um, so I'm just probably gonna paint all of it and just be done with it. Okay, so taking a look at the manual, uh, the first thing I want to go ahead and get off my chest is I hate this character. I think he is probably probably one of the worst characters in the Build Diver series. I just, I can't stand him at all. Like, I, I'm actually pretty upset that he's piloting uh, this awesome suit. The, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at the innards of this. Um, so kind of looking at the manual right here, you can definitely see there's already going to be a couple of X's. Uh, so there's like one, two, three right there, a couple right here, um, and then there's going to be a couple right here and then here. So not, not as much as I originally thought, but there's definitely going to be some parts that are just not going to be utilized. And then looking on the body, uh, body is pretty simple. Obviously, all the stickers are going to be used. Uh, then you're going to have oh, those little yellow stickers are going to be for the uh, the head actually. Um, then the green sticker for the face, like I said, um, parts for the arm. And then you look at the other arm. Then you got the feet, all the legs over here. And then you kind of just turn it over to the back side. If I can go ahead and get it. Um, so looking on the back, uh, I'm tired of manhandling this. So looking on the back. Uh, basically all in color shows you the assembly and then it's going to go into the backpack assembly as well as all the little uh, bits so that's going to be pretty redundant um, it's just going to keep going and going and going but uh, it is what it is so it looks cool though and then uh, actually on this side so right over here just kind of shows you the customized plan and shows you the uh, material uh, gumpla right here, right up here which I have in the corner uh, once again it shows you all the little like uh, accessories kind of talks about the brake decal uh, mode and that looks like to be about it color guys is right down here um, so nothing really too crazy uh, but overall uh, I think it's gonna be a really cool kit once again I would like to paint this but with my backlog right now um, it's just not really an option so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna bring uh, well when I'm gonna make this kit because my dad and well pretty much my family on my dad's side my dad my stepmom my uh, my sister 
they're all coming this Friday. Uh, so that's actually the same day that the Cross Silhouette uh, SD series comes out. So I'm probably not going to be doing many videos, if any at all, uh, while they're here. We're pretty much going to be going out, exploring, talking, reminiscing. I haven't seen my father in four years, and I haven't seen my sister and stepmom uh, probably in about six to seven years. It might be a little bit more. I think Actually, I think it was like eight or nine years that I've seen them. So I'm going to spend some time with the family. Um, I'll try and post some stuff on my Instagram. So follow me on IGTV. I'll probably still post some stuff on there. Um, but other than that, guys, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, stay, stay subscribed. And we're getting very, very close to 5,000 uh, subscribers. And once we hit that mark, there's going to be a huge announcement. Uh, actually, a lot of different announcements that's going to be uh, coming out on that actual moment uh, even if I'm with my father and everything uh, I'll take some time off to um, to go ahead and make a video once I hit that milestone but that guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye